Hi, I'm Dr. Brownfield. I'm a veterinarian here at Grady Veterinary Hospital. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about kennel cough. So kennel cough is actually an infectious um, tracheobronchitis that dogs get um, pretty commonly. It kind of spreads like the common cold, something we treat all the time here um, for pets that typically are around other dogs, boarding, grooming, um, doggy daycare, playing uh, with, with other pets, and it's something that's relatively um, contagious. It can definitely um, scare owners a little bit. They often sound like they are they have something stuck in their throat, and so owners will commonly come in and say it sounds like they're coughing, they're trying to bring something up. Um, it's usually a pretty dry, kind of persistent hacking cough. And um, when this, uh, the way that it's spread is that through respiratory secretions. So usually nose droplets, saliva, sometimes shared food and water bowls. Um, and so oftentimes um, we try to isolate pets that have kennel cough. Typically the um, course of, of kennel cough usually runs uh, one to two weeks and um, that's about how long dogs will show clinical signs but um, they can actually shed uh, the infection for up to three months. And so it is possible that even if they're not clinical for it, that they can still be passing uh, this infection on to other dogs. And so it's really important to kind of keep them isolated if your pet has been um, diagnosed with kennel cough. Um, even uh, if your pet has been vaccinated, there is a vaccine for kennel cough, and uh, we do recommend it. Um, it's similar to a flu vaccine where even if you get the flu vaccine, you still can get the flu. There are different strains, there are different infectious agents involved. And so, um, you know, but it still is recommended because it definitely decreases the spread of the disease as well as the severity. Um, typical treatment for kennel cough is usually an antibiotic as well as a cough suppressant medication to really help kind of lessen that cough. So the more they cough, the more they irritate their trachea and the cycle just continues. So um, at that point, usually we will uh, medicate for one to two weeks and then typically we'll see it, it run its course. Um, most of the time, kennel cough does not create serious complications. However, in some really young debilitated puppies or really old debilitated dogs, we can sometimes see kennel cough progress to pneumonia. Typically with kennel cough, your pet's going to act normally. Otherwise, they're just going to be coughing. Sometimes they don't eat quite as well. Um, but your pet should still have normal activity, not be running a fever, no abnormal discharge from the nose or the eyes. So if you're seeing those kinds of things, we would worry more about the possibility of pneumonia as a complicating factor. So if you suspect your pet has kennel cough or a complicating factor of pneumonia, we're always happy to help and see them.